Hey everybody, John Foss, CW Twin Cities. We are talking about Couples Court with the Cutlers. The show airs weekdays at 11.30 a.m. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Tell us about the show. Couples Court with the Cutlers. It's a daytime television courtroom show. Dana and I are the judges on this show. We have couples who appear in front of us with some kind of conflict in their relationship dealing with cheating. And so we listen to their evidence. We use our resources to help them get to the bottom of the question, is she cheating or is he cheating? And those resources include all kinds of technical. We have uh, uh, professional investigators. We have forensic voice analysis, lie detector tests, cybersecurity experts to check tablets and phones and, and find the deleted messages and pictures. And we use all of those technologies to find out, is he or she cheating? Very cool. And you guys have been married 28 years. What is the secret? I think we have a very effective way of communicating. Uh, we keep it about the issue that we have a disagreement about. We try not to make it personal, no name calling, no bringing up things from five or 10 years in the past. We really try to keep it about the issues. And as lawyers, we know how to argue. And so we, we try to really keep our arguments focused and tight. And, you know, a lot of times we get it worked out. Sometimes we don't. But we stay together. That's the main thing. <laughs> okay, okay, great. And you guys also have three adult sons. Yes. Are they married? And, and, and if so, do they get free advice from you guys? Uh, they're not married, but they've gotten free advice from them their entire lives, much oh, to their chagrin. Wait a minute, whether they wanted it or not. But our oldest son in Houston, he has a very serious girlfriend. So we don't, you know, that may be coming our way sooner than later. And there's also and one thing that is unique about the show is that you guys bring in some celebrities, Waka Faka Flame. Yes. For example, tell us about the celebrities that uh, come in and are part of the show. Well, we have, we've had a uh, guest celebrity uh, litigants, uh, Lil Mo and her husband, Carl Darga. Mm -hmm. And then we've also had uh, celebrity experts who are friends of the court and share viewpoints. Like we've had couples that... You know, uh, the young man is gonna is trying to be a rapper or a musician, and so we'll bring in musicians who have been accused of cheating and what that looks like and how to manage the space if you get stardom. So it, it's been really cool that way to meet uh, celebrities from, you know, the house, uh, Housewives of Atlanta or have somebody come in from the record industry. Uh, so we get to have all those people come in. And you'll see a lot of those as season two continues to progress. All right, and you guys are bringing people back together that are maybe considering divorce or splitting up, but you guys try to help bring them together with your expertise. Tell us about a good story that, that has happened throughout the show so far. Well, one of the things, one of the ones that kind of sticks out in my mind, and I see this pattern with the couples who appear in couples court, is they've got a person on the side that they've been having and dealing with for a period of time, but when they get to couples court, it is time for them to make a decision. Is it going to be your wife or your girlfriend? Is it going to be your husband or your boyfriend? And people actually struggle with that decision in that moment. We've had a couple of cases where that pause, where they have to make that decision, has seemed like an eternity before they ultimately say, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to choose my wife. And or so, yes, I'm going to choose my husband. Or, yes, I'm going to choose my husband. So in that moment, we try to get them back together and then give them counseling on how to move forward with that. What about a situation where things maybe didn't go as planned, where it turned out poorly? Well, we had the case where the husband brought his wife. He was accusing her of cheating uh, with a particular man, and that particular man was actually a witness at the case. And we found out that uh, that morning, the wife and the boyfriend got together. And everybody was shocked, like, do you know that you were coming to the couple's court? You know, is this really what you were doing? Do you understand why you're here? Um, and in that case, the husband was like, I'm out. I mean, you can't even be faithful the night, the, the day we're appearing on couple's court. I don't think you know what, what, what marriage is all about. So that one was a, that was a shocker on top of a shocker. And then it had a sad ending, too. Doesn't sound good, guys. All right, well, thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for being on the CW Twin Cities. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Twin Cities, make sure you check out Couples Court with the Cutlers. Dana, Keith, thank you so much. And Twin Cities, it airs at 1130 a.m. every weekday right here on the CW Twin Cities. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, guys.